All right, sweet. You guys clicked on the delete records video that we have out here. Um, and essentially, this one should be pretty straightforward. It's not going to be super fancy because this whole element really isn't that fancy. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the titles pretty much says it all on this one. It's easy to set up. Uh, essentially, you want to delete something, and this allows you to delete something. So if you're new to these videos, um, I just want to kind of put this out there before you get 20 minutes in or however long this ends up being. Um, this is more set up for somebody just trying to figure out what the fundamentals are or like the basics are of flows. So in this specific video, we're just going to be going over like a very, very basic way to use this. Um, I'm aware that there's several different ways that you can delete things in Salesforce. And there's probably another way that I've I could have went about doing this, um, but the whole intention of this video is just to show somebody how you can use this element within a flow. So with that being said, we have a, a very easy business use case that we're going to be doing today, hence why this one should be shorter than the rest of the other ones that we've we've covered together. Um, so before I jump into all of this and go over you know, what it is that we're going to be doing today, just as a reminder, uh, feel free to jump on over here. It should be in the comment section of this video. This is actually my uh, blog site. So my blog is going to have anything from Salesforce tips like what we're doing today, uh, business applications like Zapier and Slack. Um, I have a podcast that surrounds FAQ around Salesforce. And then thoughts. This one's going to be set up more for like just things that I'm doing in my own personal life and career that I feel like are helping me. So if that's interesting to you, you can always check that one out too. Um, so yeah, feel free to jump over here. And the reason I want to direct you to this place is because uh, for every single video that I have out here on YouTube, I'm going to have an associated blog post with it. You can jump into the blog post. You can look at all the screenshots of everything we talked about and the business use case and all the documentations here. So if you'd rather read this type of info versus watch a video about it, you can jump over here. It's also really nice in case you do find a video um, and you don't want to go back through the entire thing and just try to like skip to the sections that uh, you were kind of confused about, you wanted to know more about, you can just jump over here to the documentation and, and look at it that way if that helps you. Um, so if that is you, feel free to jump over here now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into the actual video now. Okay, cool. So like we said, uh, you clicked on this video, you kind of want to know what the delete records element does. Like I said, this one specifically should be pretty straightforward. We're just trying to delete something in Salesforce. Uh, using this delete records element gives us another option of how we can delete something. Um, obviously, there's like a delete button on a lot of these records uh, that you can go and actually just delete it from the a button already. Um, and I understand that's kind of what we're going to be showing you how to do here, but um, hopefully you can apply these principles if you have more of a complex idea of how you can incorporate it within a flow and cause something to be deleted out of your Salesforce org uh, within a flow. So in our specific business use case today, uh, all we did is we created a new field on the opportunity and it's titled uh, delete record. If that thing is true, and it has changed, then we're going to invoke a flow and then delete that current record. So this is set up on the opportunity. So essentially, if I you know click this checkbox and mark it as true, it's then going to run this flow. And then this flow is going to delete the um, opportunity record that I was just on. So like I said, um, this one's pretty straightforward. Nothing fancy about it. Um, just as a word of caution, though, if you are doing something with this element, I just want to kind of review these things with you. This is from Salesforce, um, the help center place that you can go to and actually get more information on it, which is right here. So they always uh, try to provide some more information for you about what the specific element does and like different things that you should be aware of or considerations. Right. So you can jump over here and check that out if you'd like to. Um, but basically their main points here were uh, make sure that you're making this thing as specific as possible. Um, that one's kind of obvious, right? Like you don't want to delete something that shouldn't be deleted. So when you set this thing up, we just want to be as confident as we possibly can that yes, this thing should be deleted or no, that should not be deleted at this time. So be super specific. Um, 
you have to say, like I said, don't want to delete something that you're not supposed to be deleting and cause a hassle that way. So that's our tip number one. Tip number two, um, just remember that these records can be deleted as soon as the flow executes it. Um, I would also highlight that, you know, a lot of the time staging and production and stuff like that, you'll click on our little debug mode. And when you run it in debug, it's still going to delete it. So if you are, for whatever reason, testing in prod, hopefully you're not doing that. Hopefully you've tested, your, you're in your sandbox. But um, sometimes, I, at least when I first started, I would get confused by that a little bit. I would kind of think that it was in this like test scenario and it's not actually taking action on it, um, but it is. So once you put in that record and you run it, in this case, it would actually delete it. So just be aware of that. Um, if it does get deleted, you know, luckily Salesforce does have something called the recycle bin. If you're not familiar with that, it just allows you to get into a place within Salesforce. It stores it for 15 days and then it will delete it afterwards. So if you do accidentally do something like that, um, there is luckily a little bit of a backup that you can jump in there and pull this thing out uh, before it actually gets permanently deleted. Um, and then the very last one, just uh, keep in mind that these things actually will delete something that is pending approval. So, you know, if you have an approval process out there and it's um, currently in that stage, just be aware that it still can delete that. So just a heads up before we get into all of this thing, um, I think we have our foundation down. I think we're good. Uh, just reviewing everything. I think our flow design, the very last thing, this one's really, really easy. We just have a screen flow. So screen flow is just um, a, a type of flow that gets kicked off by another process. So in our case, we have our opportunity process builder that's going to kick off this flow for us and push over the record that needs to be deleted and uh, run the actual flow. So we have a screen flow. Like I said, it's pushing in our record ID. And then we just have one element on this canvas this time. And it's just our delete records. So we're going to use our process builder to our advantage and use that as kind of like our filter. Um, and then within the actual elements, there's another case that uh, we can filter it as well. So that's uh, the foundation. Let's go ahead and actually jump into what this looks like. So probably want to bring you over here first. Um, here's our little field guy that I created. So it's just a delete record, you know, checkbox. So essentially if I check this to true and hit save, it would delete it. Um, so that's what we want to allow the user to do on this specific record. And then once it deletes it, it will let us know after we save it, hey, this record has been deleted. Um, the process builder, we just have this note over here, delete record. Um, and it's looking at those two things that we have in our criteria. It's looking to see if the delete record is changed. So if it's changed, and then also if the delete record is true. So obviously we don't want it to delete if it's marked as false and changed um, for whatever reason, right? Like we wanna make sure that it was marked as true um, saying, yes, this was supposed to be deleted. And then if that is true, then we want this flow to be called on. And then we're just pushing in that record ID. Um, so we know which record is actually being deleted. Um, so pretty straightforward. And then, like I said, if we jump over to our flow, sorry, we just have this one element here. Um, we don't really need anything. I don't need a decision. I'm already filtering it on our process builder. Um, so we have all the information that's needed. Essentially, we're just checking to see if that delete record is true. And if that is true, then we want to delete it. So we'll connect this guy. And then I'll kind of go through what we have available. Um, so the delete records one, you can look into like a record variable or record collection if you have all those uh, types of values stored. If not, though, this one's pretty similar to like, a, you know, like a get records almost. You'll click on your specify conditions so it knows like what it's actually going to be deleting. And then you would just say the opportunity in our case, since that's where that field is. And we're gonna say conditions are met, right? So conditions are met, what conditions do we need to make sure are met? Well, we wanna make sure this field that we have on the opportunity, the delete record, we wanna make sure that that equals true. And that's it. 
So when I want to look up true, I just type in true and then this global constant will pop up and it says down here for you equivalent to true or checked or yes, right? Which this is a checkbox. So that will work perfect for us. And that's it. So it's like I said, really easy on this one. We have this up and running. So if I go back over to our opportunity and check this, hit check, hit save. And just like that, it lets me know everything that I just told you, right? Record was deleted. But on top of that, it says that it's being stored within the recycle bin um, for 15 days. So if I need to go get that out, I can. But that's how this flow will work.